craving during pregnancy, weirdly. Welcome back to Jeremy Vine Extra. Yasmin and Alex are still here with us and now we're asking whether it's okay to refuse to date someone who earns less than you. 0207 862 2222 is the number for your views. Maybe your experience in this. So businesswoman Samantha Jane has caused quite a storm after declaring that she would never settle for a man pulling in less than her six-figure salary. So the 51-year-old, I don't know why we had to put your age in there actually, admits she grills her dates about debts and performs background checks on them, even phoning their employers for details about their job. Now she's encouraging other women and men to avoid the potential uh, resentment and unhappiness by following her lead. Okay, you have to clear this up for us okay. then. So it has caused quite a stir. Okay. What are the main experiences you've had that have put you off dating men that, that earn less than you? Because you earn quite a bit. Mm, yeah, yeah. No, I've had a, a lot of exper different experiences with various men over the last sort of five years predominantly. And it's just a question of things like um, going out for dinner, you know, oh, I've lost my, I've forgotten my wallet. You know, come on. It's not to do with my salary, really. It's just these are just things people do. And but, but what I realized, it, became, it was like an expectation that I would step up. But potentially then you're just dating the wrong men rather than their salaries. I think that it's about an attitude to money. It's the mindset. And what I find just in my own experience, so therefore it's my own opinion, is that men of a certain level, income level um, have a different mindset. Okay, but you earn quite a high wage and it would yeah. put you in the top, maybe, I, I don't know, 1%, 5%, I, I, I don't know the stats on it, but I it would tip you definitely it. up there in, in the yeah. top 5% of the population and earnings. Now, it's hard enough to find a partner. Oh, yeah. So when you're searching for 5% of the population and then take away that are maybe age inappropriate and then take away women, uh, then you're kind of left with a very small pool of people to choose from. Yeah. And out of that percentage of people, how many of them are going to affiliate with you on morals and 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 be able to um, form a good relationship with you yeah. on a personal level. And I get that. I really do get that. Um, and I'm, I am someone who, who's, who's generally happy single because I, and I would rather be single than be in a relationship with someone who is credit carded to the max, who doesn't value money. And, and I think because, and don't forget, I'm in business. So I think that the fact that I've hustled, you know, I've been in business for 22 years and I, you know, I have hustled to get to where I'm at and I kind of want someone who's got that energy. And I just find that doesn't come with lower end nine to five salaried men. I think a lot of people might find it quite confronting in the things that you say, only because a lot of people work incredibly hard, but don't take home the same wage packets. I'm thinking yeah. nurses, I'm thinking doctors, I'm yeah. thinking firemen, fire officers, uh, you know, police officers, they don't take home the same salary, their jobs are very intense, they really work hard, they hustle at work. Would Perhaps they would have the same attitude but not the right wage packet for you, would that be a problem? It really does come down to the attitude and how they spend and value their money. And would it be a problem as well for you, the fact that if somebody earned a lower wage that maybe you'd have to go to Nando's instead of the Ivy for dinner? Like, could you, would you be happy going to somewhere that was slightly less expensive and have a nice meal there and they pay? Or do you want them to take you to a nice place that potentially they can't afford? I just want, I don't want to put, the thing is, you see, I haven't always had the money. And, you know, I'm a single mum. And so I've done that not having the money. I've done all of that. And I don't want to put someone in that position either. But it does become, I know what that feels like. And I don't want to, I think men have enough trouble with knowing where they fit, quite honestly, in relationships and society at the minute as it is. But I just feel that I don't want to make someone uncomfortable and embarrassed when I say, right, we've been invited out for dinner with blah, 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 mm -hmm. and it's going to cost this, 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 or whatever. Or they get there and you watch their face drop when they read the menu. Yasmin, I mean, that sounds fair, isn't it? You don't want to put somebody in an awkward position and you don't want to have to change your lifestyle? I, I'm not sure. I think I do believe in love. And love for me, you know, I, 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 I made, well, I didn't marry two very rich men who asked me through my life because I didn't ever want to be 
in a position where I was beholden to them. And I wonder if one of your anxieties isn't that some men will be attracted to you because you're very well off. And there is a danger of exploitation, let's face it. Oh, absolutely. And I, I that I understand. Yeah. I completely understand that yeah. because, of course, it happens all the time, doesn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. From men dropping stuff in shopping trolleys to, oh, I've got bonus. But also Let's have a taste kind of away. coming for you because they know your bank balance. Yes. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, you know. this is it. But I'm not going to hide that. No. And no, I, no. I think women need to speak about money much more openly. We're not in the Victorian era. I mean, if yeah. you read the comments on that article, I mean, I found them funny. Well, the, well there's another element to the article, and that mm. is the level of research that you go into <laughs> with your partners yes, or no, potential dates. terrible. And, and, and how do you justify that? I mean, how that's my, new, that's my new thing. Just because, you know, social media, media um, if I'm allowed to mention, it, like Instagram and all these things, all these images, all this, the white picket BS, you know, that we see. Come on. So you, you, know? but you would call an employer? and say, how much is this individual earning? Are they in the, the, the job? I don't ask about earnings, but I'll I have phoned in the past for them. Say, oh yeah, I'll just put you through to and the sales team or, what, you know. What's the reaction? So you've just called to try and find out where they are and if they are yeah, indeed you put the phone working down. for the same place. Okay, so the, so the <laughs> other person doesn't know Spend that you Spend more time on check. company's house. Okay. All right, I'll Alex, what do you think there. about that? Doing that level of research into a potential. Do you know what? I must. I must admit, I've been down company's house before. <laughs> <laughs> I have, yeah. I have. But no, do you know, I, I'm really, I see this from so many different perspectives. So I think normally, I'm with Yasmin, I'm such a huge believer in love. And I think that people are bound together by intellectual, cultural mm. reasons, humour, um, same interest, same sort of vision of the future. Now, I think in some respects, that does tend to mean people end up uh, dating and marrying people from their sort of a smaller demographic. But when I look at my own family, my, my stepdad was a lorry driver and we didn't really have much money growing up and he would be out on the road only home at weekends but he drove around in his lorry listening to Radio 4 doing the Times cryptic crossword in record time probably chuntering to himself in Latin so you know I don't think that, that the amount someone earns is necessarily representative of all the inner treasure that they have but then on the other hand I've always dated men who tend to earn less than me and certainly in my last relationship it was a problem for him not for me, but it was a problem for him because I think in some respects it, it, it makes it can make a man feel like a lack of control. And when it comes to making decisions such as, OK, what is our future? Do we want to buy a house together? Well, I can contribute, you know, all of this to the deposit and him only that much. And what stake does he have in the future? And, you know, I think there are consequences yeah. to a wage gap. Yes. And I think that those consequences are bigger when the woman is the higher earner than the man. Interesting. Well. Let's see what our viewers think. Peril from London, would you consider dating someone that earned less than you? Um, I'm probably among the middle income earners, so I don't earn as much as our lady with the red hair. She's brilliant. I love her. Um, but I would say that I would date somebody who earns less than me, but it would be about matching energy and disposable income. And what I mean by that is um, I've dated people who have more money than me, but they have two or three children and a divorce under their belt. I don't have any children. So I end up having more disposable income than they do. Um, and then I would say when it comes to matching energies, what I would say is, is I've dated people who have lots more money, but they are very, very tight with them. I think that when you earn as much as our lady with the red hair, I'm so sorry, I don't know your name, lovely. Samantha. When you earn as much money as her, then I think that you are in a role reversal with a man because men date people who don't have as much, who, who earn less than them all the time. So you are in the enviable or unenviable position of being the man in the relationship, if you like, because you're the one that earns. Well, that, that's so, interesting. You've brought a, a gender play into this and I suppose it does have a, a role to play and we'll, we'll get into that. But just quickly, Pedro, what sort of in issues have you come up against when you've dated people that you have more disposable income than? Well, I think it's about then, it's about activities. I like nice restaurants, so I might want to pop to the Savoy for drink very quickly. And um, that to me is something that I can do on my income. I might want to pop away and go to Tuscany. I might want to go wine tasting. That's something I can do on my income. When you have somebody who earns less, but Perry, they feel... If you like the other individuals so much, wouldn't you want to go and have that drink at the Savoy with that person and enjoy being there regardless of who's paying? 
A hundred percent. I would absolutely do it. Unfortunately, most men do not feel the same ah, way. So you think they the are the ones that would have the problem. The moment the check comes, I tend to find that most waiting staff start handing it over to the man automatically. So when you pull it towards yourself, um, that man feels, I think, um, emasculated Pero, slightly. That's and so interesting. So pay another wage. It could be a societal issue here, a societal issue. Vicky from Norfolk, what's your? do you have a story about this? What's your experience? I do. Hello. Good afternoon. Um, I met my husband about 17 years ago and I was very much in debt. I was in the red. He'd come from abroad to do uh, work on the land, but back home he'd had properties, he had money in the bank. He knew my situation, but still he took me out, he looked after me. Um, we obviously married, we celebrated 13 years yesterday. Congratulations. And Thank you very much. And had I had the attitude, or he had the attitude that he wasn't going to date me because I came with baggage of financial issues... Um, this, he would never have known that years down the line, I'm now self-employed and run my own business. And because of that, I have able to say thank you to him. He's been able to take a year off work. He's been able to do jobs that he enjoys because he likes to tamper in the gardening. So he's Samantha, a self-employed gardener for a while. It does sound like you've created a real team with your husband, which is fantastic. But I wonder whether, Vicky, sorry, it do, I wonder whether it does a differ if the sexes are are. are swapped round if it is the woman that earns more and how that makes the, the man feel that seems to have been the, the theme that comes up here unfortunately we've ran out of time but a huge thank you for all our calls and Samantha for joining and sharing no, your story time. and clearing that up uh, thank you we're going to have to move on after the break should the UK do more to help asylum seekers in Sudan what do you think 0207 862 is your is the number for your views on that we'll see you right after this short break mm -hmm.